If you have gout, I want you to do this. Take your elbow, put your finger right here, and just go up the lining of your bone and just feel it. It should be nice and smooth, right? But if you actually feel bumps on your bone, I'm gonna tell you exactly what that could be. Don't be worried because if you have gout and you feel those bumps, it's probably not, you know, a tumor or a, a hardened cyst. It's probably what they call tophaceous gout or tophi. Now, just to let you guys know that tophi and tophaceous gout is going to be anywhere from a very small, like a little pebble or a grain of sand. Um, it could be also as big as like a tennis ball. I had um, tophaceous gout the size of a tennis ball, um, size of a golf ball, and I had to get that surgically removed. But in this case, we're going to talk about just, just like a normal bump, probably, you know, the size of like a marble. So what is tophi and tophaceous gout? So tophi is basically the accumulation of uric acid that has accumulated over time that has basically rested on like your ligament, on your tendon, on a bone, anywhere where you would have a gout attack. In some cases, it's not even where you would have a gout attack. Um, I had tophaceous gout in my ear, which is weird because you can't get a gout attack in your ear. but. It has been known to settle in cartilage. The uric acid is very small and microscopic. Microscopic. <laughs> so when it accumulates, it usually takes time for it to accumulate. By that time, you are considered uncontrollable gout. So basically, it could be anywhere from like a little pebble down to, I mean, as high as like a, a golf ball or a tennis ball, depending on how big you let it be. Because in all honesty, Although it's forming, you have the power to contact your rheumatologist. Your next step after figuring out that you do have those bumps, or at least one bump on the lining of your bone, or even on your ear, is to contact your rheumatologist. Let them know exactly what's happening, get into an appointment. If you don't have a rheumatologist, don't worry. What you wanna do is you wanna go to an urgent care and just let them know exactly what's happening. The reason why is because you want to make sure 100% that it is what it is instead of thinking that it's something else. I'm not saying that it could be a tumor, but I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse. And when I had to get surgery done to take out a tophaceous gout um, deposit, they did inform me that they didn't know exactly what it was and it could be anything. So you wanna to go to an urgent care to get their recommendation. Under no circumstances do I recommend this at all, but you might feel the need to actually pop that tophaceous gout because you might think, oh, it's just a pimple or, oh, it's, it'll go away. <laughs> but trust me, it won't. Let me share with you, tophaceous gout is not a pimple. <laughs> tophaceous gout is not something that will go away easily. And even if you were able to, you know, break the surface of the skin and push it out, which is really disgusting, um, it still doesn't mean that it will reoccur and it still doesn't mean that there won't be an infection. But let's say if it, uh, sometimes it actually breaks through the skin by itself. Um, but let's say if it does. So it's going to look like the consistency of either like a little tiny pebble or like a grain of sand, or it could be chalky, or it could also look like, you know, toothpaste. It's going to be, it's going to be disgusting. It's going to be weird and disgusting. But more than likely, it's going to be, if it's a, if it's like a marble size, it's probably going to come out in like a big cluster. It's going to look white. And then there's going to be some chalky, you know, effect. Because that's the re residual uric acid around it. And that's not the, the uric acid that is basically like, um, you know, attacking your joints. That's going to be the uric acid that actually wants to form and group onto that tofu. When I tell you it will be disgusting, it will be disgusting. I want to share with you guys something that happened to me. So I had um, a tofi deposit really bad in my left knee, and this is when I had no insurance. I was stubborn. I didn't want to go to the urgent care, and I decided to. <laughs> and this is when I was in my early twenties, <laughs> but I decided to go ahead and, um, you know, basically burst it myself and see if I can clear it out myself, which is the dumbest thing that anyone can ever do. So do not do what I just did, but I'm gonna show you my knee. Um, here it is. So here is, it was like all in here, all in here. And it was like right here, right here, right here. 
So this was about uh, like 10 years ago. The thing is, I still have like pockets of bursitis in there. And bursitis, we could talk about that later um, in another video. But I still have pockets of, you know, liquid in there. And let's be honest, at any time, Tofi can come right back at that location. Um, what happened was I was developing Tofi for about, you know, probably about a couple months. And I didn't want to go to the urgent care. It didn't have a rheumatologist at that time. And I decided to pop it myself. Um, little did I know that it would spread to like different locations. I had different TOFI locations in my knee that I didn't even know about. And basically it ended up with a huge infection that I went to the ER one day because it was so painful. So all in all, don't do what I did. <laughs> But just a little side note, TOFI isn't just, you know, like the little, it looks like a little pimple, you want to pop it, or, you know, the manifestation of a gout attack, like it's an, it's the actual uric acid. But TOFI might actually lead to something greater than what is something that you should actually get a rheumatologist appointment for, or at least go to the urgent care. I'm basically having a lot, a lot of TOFI has been linked to things like um, uh, kidney disease, um, kidney failure, um, such uh, cancers like, uh, let's see, uh, liver cancer, colon cancer, lung cancer. There's a reason why when you have TOFI and you develop it in your system, and you see it in your body, you need to contact a doctor. All in all, if you do that little test where you're filling your bones up <laughs> and you feel something out of the ordinary, immediately call your rheumatologist or go to urgent care because you probably do have TOFI, but you also don't want to mistake that and it could be something else and more important that you need to take care of. But thank you guys so much for enduring all that time <laughs> listening to my story. Um, and you guys have a great rest of your day. Comment, like, subscribe, and... You know what? You are amazing and you can get through all your gut attacks. I know you can and have a great day.